Mayfield just can't quite get going in the attack in a 2-0 uh, loss to visiting Solon on Saturday afternoon in non-conference play. Uh, greetings from West Woods. I uh, stopped off here between matches before I went off to see the Berkshire girls, so uh, that's why we have the unusual backdrop. But as far as the actual important part of this, which is the mat, uh, match analysis and talking about the match, uh, I was hoping for better for Mayfield, I'll be completely honest, and it just didn't come. Uh, The possession wasn't quite there, the fluidity just wasn't quite there, uh, the rhythm wasn't quite there, and the thing is, I think two of the big characteristics that have been huge for Mayfield is they've gone on these district championship runs uh, each of the last four years and gotten to regional competition. The big thing with them, uh, number one, first and foremost, is that midfielder, who, let's just say it straight out, that midfielder who's not going to take any crap, who's going to be a ball winner, who's going to set the tone for the side, and Mayfield's still looking for that, quite frankly, and it's obvious watching them play in this match that they're still looking for that. And of course they're still looking for that. You graduate Ty Klicka, you know, obviously Courtney Favazzo filled that role for a while as well in this Mayfield side. Uh, you know, they've had these girls who have kind of been that bulldog who have set the tone uh, for them in midfield and, and, and the, the, the rest of the side's been able to build off that. And they just don't quite have that right now. And Matt's trying everything he can tactically to find it. And this match and the way it was approached tactically made that blatantly obvious. Perfect example. Cassie Lewis starts as a striker. She's been a striker throughout her career. She spent most of this match as a center mid. And with her tenacity on the ball, and I've always said, nobody absorbs contact as a striker better in our area than Cassie Lewis. Cassie's somebody who could fill that role well, but unfortunately in this match, Mayfield just couldn't get it going as a side overall. The possession wasn't there. They would try to get those balls out wide and try to take advantage of wide play like they have for so long, and the pace just wasn't there, and that's the second thing. That's one of the things that's been a been a staple for this Mayfield side for so long is their pace out wide, and they just don't quite have it in reserve as, uh, as they have in years past. It's a young side. It's a developing side. We see the glimpses here and there. Uh, they were able to beat that uh, that uh, side from uh, New York, Clarence, uh, and get a win there. They were able to beat that side from New Mexico and get a win there. You see these glimpses here and there, and you know that the that it's there, but they just have to find it. And uh, unfortunately, as far as this particular match, it just didn't do it for me. I was hoping for better, and it just didn't come. Hopefully it does, uh, but it just didn't come in this match. And it really begs the question, uh, while we're sitting here talking about it, who is going to step up in Division One this year? It, it's it's hard to tell right now. You know Mayfield's reloading right now. NDCL is so young and promising, but they just lost Frankie Forte. Uh, Madison is uh, obviously with Michaela Askew, and then that that outstanding defensive third group with Victoria Tromba at center back and Jordan Pass Lock win goal. You know they're very good, but they just lost Alyssa Carruthers, which is a tough blow for them. Men are so young. There's a lot of good sides, but the big question is who is going to step up? And uh, Mayfield has some work to do in order to get there. Uh, you know, they have the pieces there uh, to have promise in the attack. Uh, you know, Cassie's been so good for so long for them. You, you know, she's going to step up in big matches uh, when it matters. Uh, you know, Catherine Rock has been around for a little while now, and, she, and she's a very solid performer as well. They have some girls in the side who have the experience and they can, they can learn from, but they need that bulldog in midfield period. they got to find it before it's too late because, I mean, there's there's other sides coming for them this year, and we could have a, a new side get out in regional competition. Mayfield will do their utmost to ensure that won't happen, uh, but they really need better than what they showed here against Solon. This did not do it for me, and it was not good at all in a number of respects, unfortunately. A 2-0 uh, loss to the visiting Comets on Saturday.